<laughs> Our next guests have sold millions of albums and have had countless number one singles, so they're pretty much pop royalty. We're very happy to have them in our shores and on the show. Please welcome Natasha, Jenny and Lil Atomic Kitten. <laughs> Thank you too. Hello. Oh, hello. Oh! Come on, bring on Lil. <laughs> How are you? Have a seat. Well, the three of you look absolutely spectacular. Thank, Thank you. Thanks. You don't Let look me... too bad yourself. Oh, you know, I do what I can. <laughs> In a high-pitched voice, apparently. <laughs> now, I take it this is uh, from shopping. I heard you landed yesterday and the first yes. thing you did was hit the town and went shopping. Yes. Mm. Well, we didn't want to get, we didn't want to go to sleep because we didn't want to get jet lag, so... It just seemed the normal thing to do, to go shopping. Is that what you normally do, Lil? Like when you hit town, do you, do you go out and just shop, shop, shop? Why me? Um, no, well, I'll, I'll ask each of you in turn um, if you'd like. <laughs> yes, actually, that's what we do. <laughs> yeah. do you, does that actually, mean... No, I actually, they go shopping, I go boy spotting, so... You go boy spotting? Yeah. And how have we fared in Australia? <laughs> Good! Oh, <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> we were like that when I was shopping by Jesse Allen. Oh, 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 oh. apparently, apparently Jenny was going, meal at three o'clock. Jenny <laughs> <laughs> at six o'clock. There was just these two, they were really, really good looking. They were like, that person was going, Lil, now look, she's going. I'm going, no, <laughs> three o'clock. So she went, <laughs> she turned around and we got them. And um, I wear glasses as well. And she's like, stop squinting. I'm like, ah. Wait, <laughs> I know. She said, be cool. So look at those two fitties over there. And she went. <laughs> Do, if, oh, you were, if you were to spot a guy, would you go up and say hello? No. We would. I you, wouldn't. <laughs> would you be, in, would there be, you know, are, are guys intimidated when you come up? Gorgeous ladies come up and say hi, big time pop stars. Do they freak out? <laughs> yeah, they do. I mean, when, when I met my boyfriend, I, I was sort of like, right, there's nothing down for you, you know, um, you're going to be my boyfriend whether you like it or not. Really. <laughs> <laughs> That'll work every time. And my boyfriend and I went to a nightclub and said, because um, my friend has spotted him out to me once already, and she said, you two should go out together. I was like, yeah, whatever. And I saw him and I was like, we're going to get married. And he went, okay. <laughs> so we've been together since. And uh, I've actually met your beautiful son, Josh, yeah. out the back. He's a cute kid. He's fantastic. He's just been dancing to, like, the jingle music. He's going... <laughs> <laughs> and he was going mad for the puppies and the kittens. Does he, does he normally tour with you when you, when you go overseas? Um, yeah, a lot of the time. I mean, earlier on in the year, he came out to Thailand and he's, he comes around Europe a lot. It's great. It's good having him round. It chills us all out and it's a lot of fun. He's, he's brilliant. Now, going back a, a little bit, it's probably old news for you guys, but just uh, for your fans, and it is the first time we've had the chance to, to talk. But uh, the group started in 99. In 2000, you went from a trio to a duo. Was there any plans to continue again just as a, a, a two-person two group? Um, no, because, we're, you know, we, we sat down and talked about it, obviously, but we said Atomic Kitten's always been about, you know, three different personalities. And when, when Kerry left the band, we were like, you know, we, we knew the perfect person to join. You know, Jenny was in another band anyway. She was our friend. She, she, she was our <laughs> clubbing friend. We always used to meet up because we were so busy. The only time we get to see each other was when we'd go out to nightclubs and get a bit drunk. <laughs> <laughs> and we used to have lots of fun, so we were like, all right, Jen's got to join the band. And um, you missed a bit out. Well, oh, what happened? Were you looking at boys me. in between? Oh, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> missed that bit as well. Missed that bit as well, though. But I, I actually asked Jenny to join when we were in a nightclub because there was nowhere else to ask her. No, <laughs> Natasha, we were in a nightclub toilet. Yes. Even oh, better. <laughs> but it was... It Did was, join the group? <laughs> no one was supposed to know that Kerry was leaving and I was like, right, someone's leaving the band, but it's not me and it's not Liz. <laughs> but... Uh, Anyway, would you like to join the band? She was like, yeah, definitely. And, uh, Jim, was it tough to come into an, an already established group? Um, it wasn't. It wasn't. You know, I was in a band already that wasn't doing that well. And the kittens were successful but weren't, you know, at the level that they should have been or deserved to be. So, you know, it was a bit of hit or miss whether it was going to work when I joined or not. But I joined and the three of us, the combination worked and it's how it should have always been. And the yes. fans were fantastic as well. You know, they just welcomed Jenny with open arms and... They, well, just and and the, the group's going from strength to strength. You're yeah. selling out stadium tours now, which hasn't been done since the Spice Girls. So oh things are going really well. Very exciting. Now, Lil, I have to ask you, because uh, Tash called you Liz. Yeah. I was introduced to you as Lil. Mm -hmm. And uh, in uh, the inside cover of your current album, there's a, a, you, in your thank yous, you say there was someone who called you Liz. And you said, don't call me Liz. Oh, no, it's just weird because most people call me Lil. 
I, but I'm just, I no, always... You, you probably can, no, you though. Vary. It's OK. I, I, I vary, but I do sort of favour Liz. I, I think it's my, my motherly instincts. But is it you don't like being called Liz? Or people no, just call no, you no. Lil? No, most people just call me Lil. It's like sort of a pet name. And our tour manager, Carly, calls me Lil. And when he wants to get me attention, he goes, Liz. And I go, oh, don't call me Liz! It just oh, okay. freaks me out when he does yeah. So if I called you Liz, you wouldn't hit me? No! <laughs> oh, OK, excellent. That's good. That's good to know. <laughs> now, oh, you're disappointed. You want to see the host get smacked in the face. That's very nice. <laughs> Uh, now, uh, before we send you ladies uh, across to have a bit of a sing, the, the current album's called Ladies' Night. What yes. is a good ladies' night for you three? Oh, my oh, God, just you don't want to know. Oh, yes, I do. We like to get together, like, in one of our houses or in a hotel and sort of rip through each other's closets, or, like, well, suitcases as it is, and sort of get our outfit ready and sort of put some music on and then go out, have something to eat, maybe. It normally ends up at stupid o'clock in a very, very debaucherous manner. <laughs> yeah. it, normally start, and it normally starts off with a meal. And ends up with a meal. I hope you guys were taking note at home. Yes, ah, sugar and beans. Thought she was going to Don't look them shocked. You can take them by all means. Well, I'll tell you what, you guys, now you have to take them across with you. So I'll let you guys uh, head across. <laughs> Yes, a, a thousand hands have gone up to volunteer in the audience. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, we'll, uh, we'll let you guys start heading across now because you'll have to get yourself all tidied up and put like, microphones and God knows where. And you take some. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs>